there, there's, 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 there's a whole lot of things we need to know, but to start with this morning, there is one thing that you have to know. That God cannot lie. <laughs> Amen. I said God cannot lie. Now, so then if God cannot lie, then that means we can believe what he says. Right? See, we're used to people lying and being deceptive and tell you one thing means something else or whatever. But God cannot lie. Let me, let me read it to you here. It's probably in other places too, but let me read you this, this one right here. And then we're going to go over here and get into something in Mark chapter 4. He said... Uh, Uh, Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12. Let me read just a, down through here just a little bit. And listen to these words now. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made promise to Abraham, to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself. There's no greater saying, Surely, blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, now there's a whole lot more to this than, uh, you know, God had cut a covenant with Abraham. He made a blood covenant with Abraham. And because he couldn't swear by any greater, he swore by himself, saying that in blessing, I will bless thee. Now, so after... He had patiently endured, he obtained the promise, talking about Abraham. For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. Wherein God willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath that by two immutable things, that's unchangeable things, which... It is in, in which it is impossible for God to lie. See? It is impossible for God to lie. That we may have a strong consolation. See? When somebody, let me put it to you like this. When somebody, let's say somebody you, you know, that maybe you can, you know their word is good, you can trust them, and they tell you something, whatever it may be, and, and they even went so far as to say, I promise you, I'll do it. What's that do? It gives you a confidence. You know then that I can count on him. Absolute. There ain't a doubt in my mind. He'll, he's going to do it. Well, God could swear by no greater. And he, know, he knew men, uh, this was part of their way of doing things. So he told Abraham when he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, In multiplying, I will multiply thee. In blessing, I'll bless thee. And, and he made that covenant with Abraham based upon that he could not lie. He could not lie. So here we are. We have the great God of the universe, the creator God, talking to a man that he created, making a promise to him, and, and swear by himself. <laughs> Praise God. Now, what do you think Abraham thought about that? God made a promise to me. And he not only made it to me. See, back in, back in this culture, it was covenant. Covenant, covenant, covenant. When you made a covenant with somebody, that was it. When you made a blood covenant with someone, that's it. Brother hits to the death. Will, if you suffer, I'll suffer with you. If you have to fight, I'll fight with you. If you need what I've got, you've got it. If I need what you've got, I've got it. I mean, to the end. There is no separating. And see, they understood covenant. That's why God did that with Abraham. So he gave him a, a word. I will bless you. And he could not lie. 
So that gave Abraham, a, and Abraham believed God, the Bible says, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Praise the Lord. Well, that's enough of that. And so we can see our basis has got to be on God and his word. What did he say? What has he said to me? Well, he's, he's spoken it here in this word. Now, when we, get, when we find out what this begins to say to us, we know that we can count on God. We can trust him. We trust him with our very life. That's what God expects us to do. Now, thank God for doctors. Praise God for it. Praise God for all the men that's come a long way from years ago. They can do a lot of things, but there's things they can't do. There's a lot of things they can't do. And I don't think we ought to practice putting our confidence in them. I don't think we ought to do that because there's things that they just cannot do.